What is business development? Generally, the ideas, initiatives, and activities that help make a business better can be described as business development. In certain organizations, this includes diverse strategies for increasing revenue, boosting profitability through strategic partnerships, and the overall decision-making process of the firm. Business development activities look different for all law firms. More specifically, business development for law firms includes building new relationships while identifying new revenue streams and sales opportunities. Business development for lawyers involves sales and marketing strategies which can determine where a law firm stands in the market. These activities which are performed by lawyers who also have to handle legal work for their clients as well, tend not to be the top priority in most law firms. In a lot of cases, lawyers find business development activities burdensome due to the volume of work they have to take on regularly. In this course, we'll explore some strategies you can deploy to free up time and strategically position your practice to attract more business. How business is developed can be a complicated issue because every practice gets its business differently. For corporate lawyers, business is often generated through relationships with other professionals in the business world. Litigation lawyers frequently build substantial practices based on referrals from other lawyers in their field, while finance lawyers tend to have a more direct approach by responding to bids and also contacting relevant executives and the general counsel of financial institutions. It is also crucial to note that several other factors go into client decision-making. An example of this is that, the more specialized the substantive service required by the client, the less important the personal relationships, the more risky the case or transaction, the more important the size or brand name of the firm. It is not enough you simply understand these principles of business development and marketing. Lawyers must be willing to invest their time in business development activities to see the right results. Associates should aim to dedicate between 50 to 100 hours a year to business development and marketing activities, while senior associates should aim for 100 to 200 hours. Partners on the other hand should aim for between 250 to 500 hours, dedicated specifically to marketing and business development. This investment of time will pay off depending on your unique circumstance if you are developing a new practice, either as a fairly new lawyer or someone trying to create a niche or specialty, it could be years before you see results if measured in terms of new business. Effectiveness also depends on the activity, since some activities may be very good for one objective but not another. You need to understand what a reasonable expectation is for the activities in which you engage. It's also crucial to note that all marketing is a long-term endeavor. So if you are looking for quick results, you may not find them at this point, but if you are looking to build a practice and a career, this course will provide you with various tools to help improve what you are already doing. To see results, lawyers within the firm will need to work as a team. There is already a rush for your current clients and leads by external competitors, so a law firm has senior lawyers willing to mentor and groom team members to help cultivate a culture of nurturing, and closing the right leads will see a rise in their revenue. The key here is to build an environment where team members believe firmly that they have a significant role to play in the firm's success. In summary, business development for lawyers consists of a combination of deliberate efforts to better position their practice. It is a combination of steps your firm takes to grow effectively, boost revenue, and improve relationships with vital contacts. The process of business development is both a science and an art. The science part of business development is the methodical logical approach to finding and acquiring new clients. The art part is the creative innovative ways that you can generate new leads for your firm. Business development for lawyers is an ongoing process that never ends. Successful law firms are always looking for new ways to attract potential clients. It's an ongoing effort to keep your business growing steadily and successfully. This process of business development should be a systematic way of finding, developing, and retaining clients over time. Your practice must have a methodical approach to business development if you're going to be successful in the long term. A business development plan will help any law firm focus on their target market and on what they need to do to get a steady flow of referrals coming into their practice each month. To create a successful business development plan, you must start by creating a list of all the different types of companies and professionals that may be able to refer work your way by sending new prospects directly into your office each month or through word-of-mouth marketing. There are smaller steps involved in the business development process, and we will be getting into them in greater detail as we move along in this course. For now, we'll be explaining them briefly starting with having a better understanding of the market. The first thing you want to do is understand the market. 
you need to know what types of companies and professionals are in your area and what types of law firms they normally use. The more you know about the market, the more effective your business development process will be. You may be thinking that this is a simple concept and you're wondering why we're going over it in such detail. The reason for this is that some lawyers don't take the time to think about the market they're working in and they don't realize that there are different markets within their geographical area. You may be working in a large city or a small town, but there are still different niches within your geographical area. For example, if you live in Lagos, there's a good chance that you have a finance practice, or if you live in Abuja, you may have an intellectual property practice. If you live in a smaller area, then it's likely that most of your clients will be from agriculture-related businesses or other local businesses like hotels and restaurants. When it comes to business development, it's important to understand which niche your law firm fits into so that you can focus on marketing yourself to companies within those niches as opposed to trying to get clients from completely unrelated industries. For example, if your niche is entertainment law then, why would you try marketing yourself as an employment lawyer? It just doesn't make sense. Lawyers who are experiencing greater growth in their careers have a better understanding of the market they are operating in. This simply means having mastery of developments in the industry and how clients are investing in legal services. Once you have figured out your niche, your next step is to understand the industry and the market. You should ask the following questions. What are the trends in the legal industry? How are clients investing in legal services? How can you position yourself to take advantage of these trends and developments? These questions will help you narrow down on clients who would be interested in what you have to offer. You can now see why it's important to figure out which niche you fit into before going about business development. It will allow you to focus on a certain type of client who needs certain services that only your law firm provides and not try to cater for clients who aren't interested in what you offer. A lot of Nigerian lawyers don't do business development because they think it's all about going to seminars and workshops, attending corporate events and making connections with people there, then finally sending out hundreds of emails to solicit work, I'm sure we've all been on the receiving end of a cold email from someone we don't know. That's not business development at all, that's just networking. Business development is simply a process of marketing your law firm by understanding where your potential clients are, how they're investing their money, and what they're looking for in a lawyer. After all, if no one knows that your law firm exists, then how would anyone ever hire you? Business development isn't just about getting clients, it's also about getting people to know your brand and what you stand for. That's why even if you don't have a client, business development is still important. Business development requires a lot of research and an understanding of the market for you to effectively sell yourself and your law firm. It's not just about social media marketing, it's about building a brand that people will remember and that they can trust. For a clear picture about where your firm stands in its business development and marketing, you need to ask these questions. Who are my clients? What do they need from their lawyer? Where are they located? How do they invest their money in legal services? What industry sectors are they from? How can I reach them or get in touch with them most effectively? Answer all of these questions before starting any business development project, because without knowing who your potential clients are, how can you possibly sell yourself or your services to them when the time comes? If you're not sure where your target market is, then we highly recommend doing some research on this. It will help you better understand where your potential clients are and how best to reach out to them. You also need to invest significant time and the right resources in researching your competitors, understanding the client profiles you represent, being able to track the state of the market, and having a bird's eye view of where your business stands. The more information you have, the better decisions you'll be able to make. Make sure that you understand the potential client profiles that you are selling to, the problems they are facing, how they can benefit from my services, and their priorities, so that when the time comes for them to hire a lawyer, you can pitch as a firm that understands their needs and has solutions for them. In short, know your clients. Know your competition. Know where you stand. The business development process starts with a high level of goal setting and the identification of the various steps involved in transforming these goals into results for the firm. One way this can be achieved is through proper planning and a firm interested in improving its business development must develop a strategy or strategies that the team can refer to while working to achieve growth-related goals. The purpose of a business development plan is to set realistic goals and targets that allow an entire firm to grow. Individual lawyers who have this business development strategy document in their possession can work in unison towards a common goal 
and also learn to collaborate towards the achievement of more complex business goals for the firm. One of the most important aspects of business development is the ability to identify new opportunities and then move forward with them. This is tied to the idea of networking and knowing when to use it, this is another skill that business development requires. The ability to network is something that cannot be taught, but rather learned along the way. Networking can be described as informal relationships that are established with individuals who can provide key information or service in a timely fashion. A good example would be meeting someone at a local event or conference and exchanging business cards, then following up with an email or phone call later on. Business development also involves certain steps to ensure its success, one such step would involve properly researching the opportunity before pursuing it, this will involve gathering all relevant information regarding whatever opportunity you are looking at, this could include statistics, market performance data etc., it's also important for lawyers to research their competition when pursuing a new opportunity so as not to fall victim to whatever pitfalls may exist within said industry sector niche etc. Some competitors have a firm GRP over certain types of business and it takes having the right insight and access to properly play in certain industries.